Hello, Mr. Kenora here, and welcome to day two of our 3D design camp. Today's mission is to design an animal. Uh, I want you only using the basic shape library for this, at least for your first animal, and you can always make more than one. But I really want to challenge you to just be using that basic shape library, so trying to make all the different shapes of your animal only using the box sphere, wedge, cone, uh, half sphere, parabola, even the scribble tool is okay. Um, and the whole goal for today is for you to get familiar with those basic uh, shape library objects and how we can manipulate them. So this panda bear up here, uh, except for the bamboo pole, is only made using spheres. So each one of these shapes is a sphere. Some of them I've pulled and manipulated and stretched. But the whole point is that we don't have to go looking for specific shapes all the time. We can take existing shapes and change the length or the width or the height and manipulate them into looking like arms or ears or eyes or a nose uh, or even the wings of this chicken uh, and I think the feathers too. Those are all spheres that have been squished and pulled and manipulated. So. You're going to sign into Tinkercad again, click this link, click join my class. Your username is your first name plus ASU 2021, and then click on new project. So I want you to make a rough draft animal. So when you open it, before you watch any tutorials or before you look up how to do something, I want you just to play, drag different shapes out, see what they do. Um, I like to have students start with a half sphere and call it a turtle shell. How do you do the legs? How do you do the arms? What other um, appendages can you do? Or how can you add toes to the legs? Things like that. So try to make a turtle or try to make a, you know, start out with some, some rectangles for the legs. It could be a Minecraft version of an animal. Um, but the whole point, and it's going to look bad, I just want you to try different shapes, see what they do, see how you pull them, what they look like when, you, when you've stretched and manipulated them. Um, another fun one is if you take a cone, you can actually, in this little box that pops up, top radius, and it actually opens it up. And so this makes a really good uh, tool for doing legs of an elephant. You can also use some of the other shapes like a wedge uh, for the teeth. Um, and you can use the scribble to make a tail. So there's lots of different options that you can do. So make a rough draft animal. Then step two is watching some of these example tutorials. So I show you how I made my panda using only the spheres uh, tool and kind of manipulating those around. There's a couple other YouTube videos that are here. One is from Tinkercad's official YouTube page on how to make a seal. Both of these don't have audio, uh, mine does. And then after you've been inspired, you watch some YouTube videos on how to make different animals in Tinkercad, then you can make your final draft animal. Uh, I thought these ones are kind of cute. You know, it doesn't have to be realistic. It can, you can start with uh, something that looks like an egg and add on to it. Um, you can do a Minecraft version, right? Like a block version, however you want to do it. But this time I want you to spend a little more time and you know, think about the different characteristics. Like, you know, what makes these different? Well, they all have the same bodies, so what other things can we add to these animals to make them look slightly different? Um, add details like teeth, claws, eyes, uh, and you can use the scribble tool for things uh, like a tail or a trunk, things that kind of twist and turn. So uh, if you finished an animal and you have a final, a final one and you're still looking for some things to do, Challenge one would be creating maybe the animal's habitat. So, you know, what is the ecosystem that they live in? Is it desert, jungle, rainforest? Um, you know, what does your animal eat? Uh, what, what plants or geologic features are unique to that habitat? Um, you know, do they hide? Where do they sleep? Any questions like that, and then try to create them in Tinkercad. It doesn't have to look as perfect as this one. I just wanted to have an example. But, you know, if you're doing uh, like a wildcat, like a cougar, uh, you could put it in a forest and make a forest. Or if you're 
making an octopus, you could do an underwater environment. So anything like that. Uh, for challenge two, if you're still looking for things to do, you could try doing like a predator prey example. So maybe um, you can put, what does your animal eat? If you have a rabbit, yeah, you could put a carrot. <laughs> Uh, although they eat a lot more leafy greens than carrots. But um, just because your animal might be an herbivore or an omnivore uh, doesn't mean that you can't represent them. Although a bear eating a salmon, this one's pretty epic. So uh, adding in that kind of story and learning more about your animal. So this is pushing you not only to use Tinkercad, but to do a little or spend a little more time researching your animal, the environment that it lives in, its habitat, the ecosystem that it's a part of and uh, where it stands on the food chain. All right, don't forget to share your design. At least take a screenshot and upload that. Um, or you could, you could do like a, a little video. If you can screen record and, and uh, kind of share in detail or record your voice or however you want to share with us, uh, I'm excited to see the animals that you are able to create. All right, hope you have a fun time today.